home from work and it's like, I think to myself, how the hell am I supposed to be healthy when I have brothers and brother-in-laws and f cousins who eat like freaking crazy? I mean, I came home. So let me show you. Let me show you what I came home to. It was like one, two, three, four things, all right? We've got the fried rice and regular rice. Sure, whatever. We've got whatever this is, some kind of Korean chicken or something. It's really damn good. I think it's kind of a similar thing, but some chicken. And some beefy Kung Pao Mongolian. I don't know if they went to like some kind of Mongolian barbecue place or something, but... Uh, man, it's like so tempting not to want to eat and I still got to go to the gym like I, I'm tired right now But I should go to the gym and I should not be eating this kind of stuff it's So hard. It's like I just want to try it try it. I might just try or nibble on it I didn't really eat lunch yet. I didn't eat lunch actually um, But I might just nibble on it a little bit and I won't eat like a big I won't eat the plate or anything just nibble on it and then That's it. Yeah, so I mean but, like, if, if it was me back in the day where, just like 10 days ago, when I was, like, not on my diet, not going to the gym, I would probably, like, freaking eat that whole plate, you know? At least one of them. At least one of them. So, uh, it's thanks to you guys that I'm trying to stay motivated. Because now I'm documenting. I got on video. I literally have no excuse. I got to go to the gym. I got to eat right. I got to eat healthy. So... Uh, all right, I'm just gonna try it. That's all like one piece of each and then Probably rest for a little bit then head to the gym and then come home tonight and uh, Yep, all right guys, so have a good rest of the day. Peace Hey, yo, what's up guys? So I'm heading out of my house right now I'm gonna go to the gym and um, Let me get out of here before the alarm goes off um, Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the gym I always think like I'm gonna forget my keys or something when I uh, walk out the house because I'm vlogging. I hope that never happens because that would really suck. But nope, I got my keys. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. Um, Emery has that audit of her, so she's not gonna be home for a little while. So I'm gonna kind of take advantage of that and try to get a good extra long workout in. I don't really care how long, but maybe like an hour. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm usually doing my little 25 minute workout. So, um, and then after, what I want to do is, uh, Emery's been saying how, you know, like, she doesn't say anything, but she little, she kind of mentions it, like, I haven't got her flowers in a little while. I think because I, I talked about it on one of these vlogs, and she's like, oh, yeah, you haven't got me flowers, so I'm going to, I'm going to surprise her with flowers when she gets home. Um, what a perfect night for flowers, considering it is the season finale of The Bachelorette, the final rose will be given. So I'm going to give my wife a bouquet of roses. So I'll take you guys with me to go get that. Alrighty. Okay. Um, so I will, uh, I'll see you guys at the, after the gym. Bye. Yo guys. So I just left the gym. There it is. 24 hour. I did probably my world record. I hit three miles on the elliptical and, uh, that's like 340 something calories, I think. And then on top of that, I first started with the Stairmaster and I, because someone, one of my friends there recommended it. I did like three minutes and my legs were burning and I'm like, all right, I can't do this. Let's be more comfortable. I mean, I could have done it, but it was like a lot more difficult than, than the elliptical. Now I know that it's not a bad thing that it's difficult, but I don't know. I just didn't want my legs to be sore because then I just kind of, you know, don't want to go to the gym. I feel like Stairmaster is more of a muscle workout on your legs rather than a cardio. All right, guys, I'm about to go to Vaughn's and buy my wife some flowers for the final rose ceremony. Peace. All right, guys, so I just rolled up to the Vaughn's where I am going to go get some flowers for my wife. I think I'm gonna just go with the standard red roses. Um, but we'll see. It depends how fresh they are. If they're not very fresh, then I'll go with a different one. <sighs> but yeah, is it backwards? Does this show up at? Yeah, I guess it shows up backwards when I use my front-facing camera. But, okay. They usually have really good flowers and they're not that expensive. So that's why I really like Mons most of the time. So, alright, let's see how it comes out. Alright, so. 
So I think I'm gonna go with the regular roses. Um, oh, here's some more fancy, fancy flowers. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the regular dozen. Just gotta find the freshest ones. They all look pretty fresh. Uh, what do you guys think about these ones right here? In line at Vons. Jojo, will you take these? No, not for you actually, sorry. Alright guys, so there's my wife. And I got you flowers. Baby, why? Because today is the bachelorette and this is the final rose, but I'm giving <laughs> you an entire bouquet of a rose. Aw, uh, thank you, honey. You make so I love you. I love you too. Thanks, you're the best. So if I was on the bachelorette 12 times, I would choose you 12 times. Aww. You would get the final rose. What if you were on 13 times? Then I, ha then I had to buy another bouquet. Oh, and 24? <laughs> what? So 24 roses, two dozen? Yeah, because then I have 24 more times that you can be on the bachelorette. Thank you. Thank you. Give me a hug, baby. Is this just for your vlog? No, it's not just like, for your vlog. If it wasn't for your vlog, would you buy me this? Yes, I would. What are you talking no. about? No. Don't act like I've never bought you flowers before. I don't remember the last time you bought me flowers. You don't remember? Let's think. Oh, Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, Mother's Day. Which was like last month. Three months ago. That was like Today's last August month. Today's August 1st. That was like May 13th. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> wait, what else did I buy you though? Not flowers for my birthday. Okay, wait. Flower, what, what's more? I mean, come on. Flowers. You didn't buy me flowers for Father's Day? <laughs> huh? I'm making I'm making you a father. You should have bought me flowers on Father's Day. Okay, anyways. Uh, enjoy, okay, honey? It's not pretty good. It's all right. really good. Peace out, guys. Thank you, honey. Peace. Just like Jordan on my family. I think they're all going to come with some questions. Um, yeah. So just be ready. I'm going to be myself. Tell them how much I love their daughter. For marriage, right? That is exactly what matters. It's huge to have the family on board in a relationship. Okay, well, let's go see. We're watching The Bachelorette, and I am editing a vlog. I told her I loved her. And, uh, let me text me. Thank you so much. Yesterday, we had the opportunity to meet Jordan, great guy. And uh, today, we are uh, going to meet Robbie for the first time. Obviously, from yesterday, Jordan has set up the high standard but I'm still waiting to assess the um, but then Jordan just said all he wants to do like I grew up is ask my whole life I imagine what that comes to going on one knee when he did it um, being the dad of the woman that I was in love with and him being so are you kidding me sure Emery what's your opinion on that is he just bullshitting right now he just bullshit. He literally just is just bullshitting. And how does she not know? Well, I think she does know. But since she's a gold digger or a fame digger, she just wants to get the fame. And yeah, let's we'll see what she said. Because now. In two days from now, if you're down on one knee and if it's you and I, it's like that. You don't get, you don't have my family's blessing. You don't have, you didn't get that. And it's hard for me to think about that. If you can put yourself in my shoes for one second. It's hard for me to understand this. Yes. Because can I be honest? Mm -hmm. It makes me doubt if you're really ready. I am so wow. much more than ready and it means so much to me that I felt so why don't you ask? How can I sit there and myself not 100% know if... But you know, I'm not something you feel, right? Yes, of course I did. But so that's what matters. Yeah, it, yeah matters matter. and that's what I made 100% abundantly known. But I didn't feel comfortable with him, for one of them, not having met Robbie. For them, it doesn't happen. Okay. So you didn't Anyways, guys, Bachelor down. Monday. Tomorrow, Bachelors of Paradise starts. Sorry, Bachelorette Monday. She's totally catching it right now. I want you to know that it's exactly what you want. I want you to know that it's right. And I want your family to know that that's what you want. And then I would I would be comfortable asking your dad. So what happens in two days from now and you don't get that, you're not down on one knee? Uh, 
Is that, I mean, that has no reflection on the fact that... Wait. You don't know if you would be able to get down on it. If it was up to me, 100%, I would be on one hand. What do you mean? He, you have the choice. I'm so he confused He just said two right different now. things. It's like you saying that you don't know if you'll be on one knee or you don't know or there's still time. It's like, we don't, have, you. we don't have time. And I'm scared and I don't want to be scared. Do my heart is somewhere else? You have made me feel the type of love that I've always dreamt of feeling. The type of love that I honestly didn't believe existed. I don't know, it's not the love. It's the thing, it's like, I know that you will love me to the day that you die. And you deserve the type of love that you have given me. Thank you.